All new tonight, a new push to ban automatic weapons is up for debate again. Some say this is what Washington needs following the spike in gun violence plaguing the community. Others say it's an infringement of rights. Fox 13's Alejandra Guzman spoke with people on both sides of the issue about the potential impacts. It could have been any of us, you know, some way. Three lives lost. Anna Bowie, Jacob Long, and Jordan Ebner shot to death at a house party in Muckleteo in 2016 after a man walked in with an AR-15 he purchased legally. Tragedies are happening uh, across the country. Uh, it seems every week. We Their names, every Democratic week. Representative Strom Peterson says he can't forget. He's sponsoring House Bill 1240, promising to regulate certain assault weapons and prohibiting their making, importing, and selling in Washington state. I don't think that a, a ban is going to solve any kind of a, a problem uh, regarding crime in this state at all. And I hear that, but that does not mean we should do nothing. This is the seventh time Attorney General Bob Ferguson has proposed a bill like this. Nine other states have banned assault weapons. Ferguson says studies he's seen will cut down on deaths and the use of these weapons in mass shootings. So it strikes me as a father, almost more than as an attorney general, it feels to me this is a common sense approach to address gun violence in our society. HB 1240 has already been heard in committee twice. Anne Marie Parsons supports the bill. Her daughter Carrie was killed in the Las Vegas shooting in 2017 when a gunman opened fire on a country music festival. 60 people died. None of them stood a chance. Our family has to live forever with the knowledge that our daughter was killed, shot in the back while she was running for her life. She isn't alone. We cannot afford to keep waiting for the next deadly mass shooting to happen and maybe happen here. Please support this bill to keep military style assault weapons out of our communities. Thank Robert Shentrup, a Seattle resident, lost one of his sisters in the mass shooting in Parkland High School in Florida. She was one of 17 people killed. While some are in favor of tightening gun regulations, others aren't on board. Passing this legislation will only guarantee steep legal bills for the state and abjectly fails to address the criminal element absent from this debate. Let's give law enforcement more support to deal with potential dangers before they happen, not punish people like me, my family, and so many of my friends who shoot for fun. Some, like Robin Ball, believe HB 1240 punishes law-abiding citizens and infringes on their right to bear arms. You can't justify disarming the intended victims uh, and uh, think that's going to affect uh, the, the real criminal out there. However, there's a bigger issue here, according to Aero Precision, a firearm manufacturer in Lakewood. This bill prohibits manufacturing and we're, will result in a direct layoff and plant closure of our facility in Lakewood, Washington. The impact, 624 employees, 380 of them minorities. And I'm asking for you to stand up for our employees and their families and vote no on this bill. Now the attorney general anticipates the bill to move out of a committee tomorrow and says he's confident an amendment will be made to say anyone selling assault weapons out of state would be allowed to do so. The bill has still needs to be approved in both the House and the Senate. Back to you.